Hey guys, this is Chris Martin with the Crane Rental Minutes. Uh, changing the format a little bit, going a little bit longer than a minute so I can fully explain some of these crane terms. Some of them will be in a minute, some may be a little bit longer. We're gonna make it more bite-sized and manageable, right? Okay, so of course, uh, you can find us at cranerentalblog.net, right? That's where all this stuff is gonna be amassed. Uh, all of our blog articles, our Crane Rental Minute videos, our Crane Rental Podcast videos. Uh, everything will be right there. That's your Crane Rental Hub, uh, so to speak, at the CraneRentalBlog.net. Of course, we're on iTunes, Stitcher, and if you're watching us on YouTube, then you're already there. Just hit subscribe, all right? So this uh, last couple episodes, we've been talking about this crane here, this model, this Grove. Uh, can you, in the comments, tell me what crane model this is? I know what it is because I have it, obviously. But do you know what it is? It's a six axle. Obviously, it has Grove stamping, right? Obviously, it has circle boom. That should be enough. I gave you three solid clues there of what crane model this is. I don't need to know the uh, year. Hey, but if you know the years, <clears throat> years that this is produced, hey, throw them down in the comments. That's a little extra credit, a little bonus action. Otherwise, uh, let's see if you can name this crane. Today, we're talking about lift cylinders, right? You can see this bad boy here as I slew over and rotate as I swing the cab. This bad boy, we have a lot of things going on. I have a big microphone here. And I got to pull up on this bad boy. Um, well, maybe not. This was just working a, a few seconds ago. Let me get our angle right. Our camera angle's all goofed up. Let me pull up on this beast. I need to grease him, I think. But you can see this has two lift cylinders, right? These lift cylinders um, hydraulically, you know, push out these, cil these lift cylinders out to raise or lower the boom, right? This is how boom angle is accomplished, right? By simply decreasing the stroke or throw of this uh, lift cylinder here will decrease the angle of the boom or increase the angle of the boom. Most cranes have a um, limit to how high you can boom up. Check the manufacturer there uh, in the manual. Each crane's different, but they all kind of go in that uh, maybe 85 to 90 degrees. I don't think you're ever getting 90. Um, but I can't remember for sure, so I'll leave a comment if I'm wrong there. Um, yeah, but these lift cylinders, hydraulically, uh, boom, allow the crane to boom up. I have to pull really hard. This model needs to be greased. Uh, I don't play with this model all too often. So I'm really putting some pressure here. Um, there we go. Now we're pretty boomed up. I want to make sure I don't two block my crane here. So I'm going to pay out some line or scope in. Both, both accomplish the same thing, right? Yeah, when you scope in, your load line is going to de uh, come down, of course. So yeah, now we're boomed up. He's maybe picking something, uh, you know, close to him. Maybe, I don't know, offloading something over here. Our load line's getting crazy, guys. Maybe he's offloading something right here. You know, you just don't know. But this is a high boom angle here. These lift cylinders may be stroked out almost. Ah, yeah, see, there we go. See, that's what happens. Let me put them back into place. So we, <laughs> this is the highest boom angle we can go, obviously. But now, right, I do need to grease these. As I decrease this throw, right, and the operator's doing, doing that with a foot pedal. Um, Actually, not with the football, that's the scope pedal, sorry. He's actually doing this with one of his uh, joysticks, right? And he's booming down with a joystick. Booming down, booming down, booming down, booming down, booming down, all right? Still booming down. You know, we gotta watch our uh, line here. But that's basically lift cylinders. Their main purpose of the crane is to provide angle in this boom, whether that angle is an increasing angle or like we were just coming down a decreasing angle. That's all they do in this, um, um, application. They provide, they increase the angle of the boom, right, through extending these cylinders and decreasing these cylinders. 
and they provide support for this boom, right, in this axis, right? This is uh, the x-axis. Pardon me, so this is the y-axis. I had to think about that. Axis is get a little confusing. They provide support for the boom. Some cranes only have one lift cylinder. This crane uh, has two smaller lift cylinders. If you see the Grove GMK 7550 or those large LeBaire hydraulic cranes, uh, they have two lift cylinders as well because those booms are so heavy. Those are 900 tons or the seven, uh, 550 ton cranes or I don't think Terex until, I don't remember, I don't know where Terex goes into a double boom application. Maybe you can write that down in the comments. Uh, but some of your other ones are your 220 G-5s or 250 ton Tadano cranes. They just have one lift cylinder, right? They don't need two. I think this is kind of special for how much capacity this crane had that it had two lift cylinders. Another hint for you. This is not a large capacity crane here. Um, obviously, because of years, as years go by, the capacities, capacities increase. So this has just been a short crane rental minutes uh, about lift cylinders. Recap, they increase when you extend this uh, lift cylinder out or in. That decreases or increases their boom angle, right? And also provides support for the boom. So in some cranes that have heavier boom and need to push more and have more weight relying on, they'll have to go to this double boom application, right? And then in the new uh, cranes, uh, some of them actually have a triple boom, as one manufacturer calls it, right? Um, and there's other things that will help bridle this boom back, your Y guys, your heavy lift um, apparatuses. And that will be for a later episode, but we'll talk about Y guys and heavy lift applications and that crazy triple boom, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, but this is just a small short minute on lift cylinders. Remember guys, leave the comments below right? I'm pointing below if you're reading this on the article, if you're on YouTube, just below if you're listening to this. Hey, drop us a, drop us a comment on the YouTube. Um, just so Crane Rental Minute will pop up. But leave a comment on what you think this crane is. Quick recap, like I said, six axles, right? Interesting shape of the boom. It has circles, Right, and when you scope out, it actually says Grove in the circles. It has Grove here on the side, so that uh, that should be enough to get you guys going. All right, guys, we will see you next week for more of the Crane Rental Minute and the Crane Rental Podcast with myself, Chris Martin. You can find us, like I always say, CraneRentalBlog.net, uh, YouTube, iTunes, Stitcher. Um, that's where we reside. So we'll see you guys next week, and if you're listening to us, we'll talk to you guys next week. All right, bye, guys.